What's up guys and welcome back to another video. On this channel, we typically cover a few topics such as data analytics, technology, and other forward-thinking ideas that can in the end aid in on-field performance. But at Penn State, a lot of this would not be possible without the help of our amazing student manager crew. What do they do? How can you create a team of your own? How can you get involved? And much more on all of that covered in today's video. Before we jump into it, welcome back to another video guys. If you're new here and you're a coach, player, or trainer interested in learning more about the practical applications of data-driven baseball, you've come to the right place. Join the movement now by clicking the subscribe button down below for more weekly baseball animations. So for those of you who are new to the channel, if you didn't know, my baseball career started as an undergraduate student at the University of Iowa. Today's video is something that is very close to my heart because, you guessed it, I was a student manager there. So. Once I came to Penn State, I knew the incredible benefits, not just for the team, but for the students on campus to get involved. So one of my first orders of business was beginning the hiring process for these student managers. Now, these aren't your typical everyday managers. In the past, you may hear the word student manager and think of someone who gets the team water and does their laundry, but it's so much more than that now. Our team of student managers here at Penn State is in charge of the operation and collection of all of our data and video. They really help run the show. So what does a good student manager team look like? Let's jump into it. To me, it takes three steps to produce a good program for these students. An efficient onboarding process, what they are actually going to do when they're with the team, and then making sure that that experience is something that will help them post-graduation. Let's start with the first point. So the onboarding process. This isn't something that has to be a long and drawn out process. For the most part, taking a quick look at a resume and having one sit-down interview is going to be enough. To collect candidates, I simply put together a Google form for students to fill out with some of their information, their resume, and I had them answer a few questions. And then I sent it out on our team's Twitter account. These questions weren't necessarily designed to weed candidates out. They were designed for me to see what reason they wanted to get involved. I asked questions like, what do you want to do as a student manager? Do you want to work in baseball once you graduate? These things all give me a better idea of who that person is, and that way I can begin to group individuals with similar interests and tailor their experience to their preferences. Once the applicants have checked all those boxes, what actually do we need to do once they're here? Well over my four years of being a student manager at the University of Iowa, I began to notice that my main responsibilities could be categorized into four main areas. Administrative work, data analytics, on-field work, and video and scouting. So, as we took on more and more applicants, I began to sort them at each of these roles. This isn't to say that someone interested in data analytics couldn't be involved in scouting as well, but your data projects come first and your scouting reports come second. And this has worked great for me. We have several people stationed for all of these roles, and they take pride in what they do here, which in the end, in my opinion, really does help the team win. And lastly, isn't something that you really focus on in the day-to-day -day grind, but it is incredibly important. What can these students take with them once they graduate? For the most part, this opportunity is a volunteer experience, outside of some team gear and maybe early class registration. So it's extremely important to make sure the experience you've curated for your managers will leave them with something they can take with them post-graduation, whether they want to work in baseball or not. The most amount of time you're going to spend here is actually having this group of individuals working with the team. So let's take a deeper dive into those four categories that I talked about earlier. So the student manager experience. In my time as a student manager, I found my work to be grouped into these four main categories. So when I came to Penn State, starting from scratch, I wanted to fill out each of these as a role on its own. Starting with the administrative tasks. These are individuals who are going to help out with the baseball operations side of things. These managers are people who are interested in the more logistical side of planning team travel, assisting with camps, various other office tasks, and much, much more. For each of these, I want to tie their involvement to a job that they could pursue after graduation with their experience. So someone in this role would be someone who wants to work in front office operations, whether that's for an MLB team or for a college. We have one individual in this role who does an unbelievable job assisting in our day-to-day -day operations. Next is your data analyst. This is our R&D team. Managers on this team normally have a strong coding or Excel background. 
really help out the team by creating several different data visualizations and player performance evaluations, and again, the list doesn't stop there. Like I've talked about in several videos before, the amount of data we are collecting is insane. Managers in this role actually help with the collection of our TrackMan data during games, but once it has been collected, they are the ones who are actually taking this information and making it usable. Sometimes with me, or the coaching staff's guidance, and sometimes on their own. This team does a phenomenal job not only fulfilling the data needs of the team, but also constantly innovating and finding more ways to help out from up in our team's offices. It's a really confusing realm, but our team has done a great job breaking down all of this data into layman's terms. One of the inspirations for this channel in the beginning was a conversation that I had with our director of ops and then pitching coach at the University of Iowa, Desi Druschel. When doing projects like these, you should have three main goals. One, that it's easy to read. Two, that it's easy to understand. And three, you can get to the point in under 10 minutes. This holds true for many things in life, but specifically for managers in this role. Coaches today don't necessarily need to be experts at breezing through Excel, but if you can take that information that has been collected and bundle it up following these three main points, you can really begin to make an impact in this role. So that's that. Students in this role are often looking to get involved in an analytics department, become a software engineer for a team, or work on the research and development team. Next is our video and scouting team. This role is kind of a hybrid between our on-field staff and our analysts, because they aren't required to be on the field every day, but they also don't spend all of their time up in the office. Their identity falls more along the lines of someone who is interested in an advanced scouting role for a team. Someone in this role is in charge of the operation of our BATS video tagging software during games and practice, the setup, operation, and tear down of Rapsodo and Edutronic during practice, and then scouting reports as we get into the season. This is a role that I found myself spending most of my time doing while I was at the University of Iowa, simply because it does make a huge impact. It is the equilibrium of scouting and player development, utilizing all of today's technologies to help the team win from all angles. And you'll notice that here we go again with the etc. And that is because in all of these roles, I've given a general outline to our student managers on what I'd like to see done, but I want the individuals to feel free to grow and take other opportunities that they deem useful to their development and the team's success. Most managers take full advantage of this. This role is modeled straight after my experience as a minor league video intern with the Orioles, and it's set up to help get individuals jobs in that regard as it is one of the largest opportunities to get involved with once you graduate. Lastly is going to be your typical on-field staff. This team isn't any more or less important than the rest of them, but it is what you would picture your typical student managers assisting with. These guys are essential to the flow of practice by helping with setup and teardown of practice, helping run drills, hitting fungos, throwing BP. This is a role that may be the most time consuming, but it is quite rewarding in the amount of exposure you get to the way a D1 program operates. In my opinion, this job sets you up for a coaching role the best, as you get to be on the field interacting with players and coaches every day to see how the team operates as a whole over a long period of time. Like I said before, all of these different divisions function as one unit. Here at Penn State, we went from having two amazing returning student managers to over 15 individuals working in each of these teams together, and each of them are going after their best interests and utilizing their skill sets so they're able to do everything they can to help the team win. You may notice that what I'm looking to do with our team of student managers is to really replicate that of an MLB front office. With our team of student managers, I really have two main goals. One, being to help the team win. Anybody involved in any sort of athletic program has this goal, and I believe that these managers all play a critical role in helping us get to where we want to go. And secondly, that each and every one of them leave here with a good experience. And in my opinion, starting here with your managers plays a big role in getting those wins on the board. So why does this all matter? Well, for me, being a student manager set me up for success in the baseball world because of all of the opportunities I was able to take advantage of in my four years as an undergrad. It unlocked a ton of doors for me, and I'm still utilizing a lot of the things I learned to help me out in my day-to-day -day tasks. Our team of student managers is essential to the operation of the team as a whole. And I know that because I was one of these guys. The places that this game has taken me has really pushed me to make sure that I am constantly paying it forward to the next generation of forward-thinking baseball minds. And in my opinion, there's no better place to start with 
than with your student managers. Thanks for watching. If you liked today's video or you just want to support the channel, please leave a like down below. Leave a comment with any questions or suggestions for a future video and subscribe for more weekly baseball animations posted every Wednesday.